cardiovascular disease or CVD is not just a health concern in India, but it's a global issue. In fact, uh, it is non-communicable disease, both in India and around the world. Uh, shockingly, cardiovascular disease is also the number one cause of death globally. Over 75% of CVD occur in low and middle income countries, including India. This alarming statistics emphasize the need of urgent care. Healthcare community such as professionals working in cardiovascular segment face significant challenges. In India with a population of over 1.4 billion, we have around 5,500 cardiologists and uh, approximately 300 pediatric cardiologists as per Cardiological Society of India and Pediatric Cardiology Society of India. This shortage leads to inequitable uh, uh, distribution of cardiovascular healthcare. Telecardiology can be uh, incorporated uh, similar to a normal traditional settings uh, when it comes to uh, uh, OPD standard care, patients can walk in, uh, get a clinical uh, vital check, uh, clinical examination done, auscultations and uh, history uh, followed by if required uh, lab investigations and uh, once you incorporate all this into a telecardiology platform, a cardiologist from any where in the world can you know go through with all the uh, relevant informations and will be able to give uh, a diagnosis and treatment plans. Regarding imaging aspects in telecardiology, especially in telecardiography, a standard uh, transthoracic echocardiography has approximately 30 uh, video loops. So you know uh, if you merge all together, approximately 3,000 to 4,000 frames it comes to transmitting this uh, frames into a telecardiography platform. Uh, can lead to high storage and need of high bandwidth uh, with a higher processing unit. This can be a challenging part. A successful telecardiology platform should be able to bring a vendor neutral uh, uh, platform with post processing uh, applications, uh, you know, multiple uh, imaging process and robust compression technology, uh, and also be able to uh, give an access for the cardiologist to easily access the tool uh, through a mobile phone or tablet. Robust compression technology ensures no data loss. A comprehensive telecardiology platform should include all these applications uh, uh, such as teleechocardiography, ECG, auscultations, uh, relevant investigations, HIA support, plug and play devices and this should have a different compression techniques when it comes to using it in a mobile phones uh, for a cardiologist to access it uh, with the limited bandwidth settings and uh, they will be able they should be able to integrate all together uh, the cardiologist should be able to uh, see the tele echo images or ECGs or investigations or even do a tele video conferencing uh, even at a low bandwidth Teleteaching on the other hand plays an important role now in advance in AI, VR, VR uh, live interactive sessions, MCQs and uh, even anatomical applications uh, can merge together. Now, offline accessibility can bridge the gap of to, uh, teacher to student ratio. It is important that all governing bodies and stakeholders should come forward to address this issue. Increasing the workforce of allied health professionals like cardiovascular technologies, nurses and uh, other paramedic staffs and training them on telecardiology. Connecting every uh, districts and villages with uh, a telecardiology platform uh, to treat uh, cardiac emergencies can bridge the gap of geographical disparity. For instance, uh, we run a treating and teaching model. Uh, so when it comes to treating uh, in a nearby centers, we train cardiac sonographers uh, to uh, perform an echocardiography uh, at, uh, at the nearby centers. When there is a request from the client, uh, the sonographers goes to a NICU setting or PSU settings, uh, perform an echocardiography and uh, we have uh, configured the machines to a telecardiology platform. So once the echo has been completed, uh, immediately it will be transmitted to the telecardiology platform. Uh, the, card the cardiac sonographers will be able to uh, give a preliminary uh, information about the, uh, the report uh, to a cardiologist. So immediately the cardiologist will relieve the images and uh, depending upon the diagnosis, uh, the cardiologist will discuss with the referring doctors uh, about the treatment plans and if there is any need of uh, shifting the patient to the higher cardiac centers. So this uh, with the gap of uh, cardiologists going all the way to the center 
uh, to do the diagnosis it is where we can actually train a cardiac sonographers or uh, to do an echocardiography and have it reviewed by cardiologist uh, from his desktop. For remote centers, uh, we uh, create a comprehensive model uh, in uh, training them uh, through tele echocardiography images, uh, you know, performing echocardiography. Uh, we train neonatologists, doctors, paramedics on uh, you know a comprehensive model of how to uh, you know go with the segmental approach of echocardiography uh, and how to capture the images and uh, we connect them with a telecardiography platform and uh, once the training has been completed the remote doctors can actually send uh, the echocardiography images uh, through a telecardiography platform and our cardiologists will be able to uh, come to a conclusion and based on which the diagnosis can be made uh, uh, and treatment plans will be uh, executed accordingly. This is just not about tele-echocardiography, but uh, you know, if we bring in tele hospital patients, tele video conferencing, uh, merging all other investigation reports, uh, to especially in the remote areas, uh, it can give uh, you know a comprehensive uh, you know solution for the patient or doctors to uh, come up with a diagnosis, which can uh, improve the overall outcomes of the patients. Together, let us embrace the potential of telecardiology to revolutionize cardiovascular care.